Hello, welcome everyone. We are going to be doing a Dragon King's Awakening box opening. This just came out uh, recently, I'm pretty sure. Um, I actually definitely forgot, completely forgot I pre-ordered this at the uh, our local game store. And it came yesterday, so I thought I might as well get it and do an opening. I waited two extra days to do this because I wasn't going to open it right then. I was going to wait and do it on here. I thought it would be more fun that way. So uh, why don't we get right into it and open this up. Well, don't worry, I'll flip over the cards uh, for you so it's better uh, later on, so let's just put that in there. Yeah, because the, I don't know if this was part of the game store promo, so this was a box top, but apparently it's for the new game that they're coming out for uh, Dragonborn or whatever, for Bushiro. I don't know, I don't think I can really get into this game. Maybe. I don't know, right? Okay, so let's take out the packs. Mm, hopefully we can start off with the left side. Put that over there. Let's see. Okay, so first we got is Whistling Arrow Rag here in Noshanjo. Gigantic Shutter, Plasmatron Dragon, Miko of the Daybreak Moon, Akizuki, okay, the Stand Trigger, Efficient Carp, <clears throat> a G Guardian Mystic Wisdom, Mystic Wisdom Creation, Brahma. And also a rare drag wizard, Semis. I don't know if that one would be good to add to the deck. Maybe I'll take a look at it later. But there's only one card I'm hoping in this set for, or possibly two. I'll find out if I'll get it. Okay, next we got drag wizard, a need. Blue Espada Dragon. I'm guessing that's for the new uh, Claret Sword stuff support. Protective Cat, Maiden of Corantos, Green Nectar, interesting, they're kind of cute, little pigtails. Oh, uh, I saw something really shiny. Uh, Force Wind Eradicator Shiva, and we got another Mystic Wisdom Creation Brahma, and we got a Triple Rare Chrono Dragon Gear next. Okay, so that's our first Triple Rare, put it separate right there. I guess that's one of the good ones in this set, I'm pretty sure, since everybody loves to play Gear Chronicle. I prefer Shadow Paladins myself. I actually used to absolutely hate them, but uh, they've, they've completely 180 it. And yeah, so, let's see, Stealth Beast, Kaze Momo, Refined Prodigy <clears throat> Asahiko, Flower Pot Elf. Oh, that's adorable. It's like a little lolly. And another lolly, I think. Maiden of Glow Shine. Soothing Eradicator Garokumin. And a rare Protector Lotus Maiden of Yazdria. Okay. And a Excite Battle Sister uh, Bavaroiz. Hmm. I probably butchered that name right. Badly right there because I can I do not do French or those pastries. So and we all know that Bal sisters are mainly desserts. So next we got Wow, that is such a sexual name. Hard Rod Draco Kid. Okay. Weather Girl Shake. Is that like Weather Girl Milk in any way? <laughs> Pulsar Obstinacy Ox. Okay. Another Maiden of Krantos. Bow Sister Kuros. A shiny Stealth the Beast. Mamo <coughs> Danuki. Danuki or something. And Bow Sister Sable. Okay. Next pack. I'm glad they come with less packs than these ones now and then that they, uh, what do you call it? 
because it's the charge less at the store now for them, and you still get the uh, two uh, chance of like two double rares, and you at least get uh, two rares, so it's always good. Waver Strike Timars, Demon World Castle Ven Genbaze. Goddess of Congregation, Tagiri Hime. Okay. That actually looks pretty interesting. She looks good. Uh, Knight of Prudence, um, Memoraid. Okay. Can't push that. Critical Trigger, Force, Wind, Eradicare, Shiva. Oh, and I see a perfect card. Two perfect cards right here. Resistance, Lemon. And we got... So oh, that goes in the other path. And we got Summon Lightning Dancing Princess Anastasia. Hmm. When this unit is retired from Guard Circle, you may draw a card. And okay, catch when there's uh, Thunderstrike 4 and they have 4 in their bind zone. Okay, that's pretty good. <clears throat> that's our first double rare. For some reason, we got a triple rare before double rares, but that's okay. Then I gotta switch over to the uh, thing here. Uh, it's okay, I'm just gonna quickly pause these for a second. There we go. Here we go, much better. Okay, let's get back to opening these packs now. Now we take a small, quick little few second break, that's good. I'm about to take another one, just kidding. It's like I just need to jump to this so I can see a few things. Oh, I'll just go to that. There we go. Okay, so next we have Stealth Rogue of Reputation, Yuri Hira. Okay, I don't think you'll pretty much use them in any of the decks, but I guess it's good for like budget decks if you just want to like use your off stuff just to be able to build a playable deck. We next have the Differ Battle. That one actually might be good for a start, I'm not sure, but put this unit into your soul when this unit is retired from your guard for the effect or cost of a card with the ritual ability. You may pay the cost if you do look at the top card of your deck, the cost of your guard. Or put it to your job one. That's actually decent. But I don't know if I'll use them for a start. I'll keep my starters currently. Got another Weather Girl Shake. We have a... Well, she's kind of timid. She looks like an airhead. Integrity uh, Flower Maiden uh, Ritalina. We have a Heal Trigger. Soothing Eradicator Gokuin again. We have a Stealth Lynx 
Adadopura. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I probably butchered it. And we got Morgan Spear Dragon. Another thing good. Yeah, with Claire support. Yeah, this card gets some nice minus one grade. Ooh. When this unit attacks a Vanguard and is boosted by grade one, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. Well, that's pretty decent. Okay. I should probably just put you there too because otherwise I'll get mixed up again. Next pack. Come on. We want SPs, right? We want to get those SPs? Oh, wow. This takes me back to the very first set. They reprinted it. Oh, wow. Wow. Stealth Dragon Dreadmaster. <laughs> this card's actually pretty good for what it does when the attack hits during the battle that the team boosted. If the, card, if the number of cards in your hand is less than your opponent's, you may pay a cost of your duty. Your opponent chooses a card from his or her hand and discards it. Oh, that's just nasty. But I love it. Next, we got Refined Prodigy Asahiko again. Nice. I didn't know if I saw anything shiny there. I'm not going to say. Maiden of Glow Shine again. Good. We got a new one. Steam Link's Emmy. That's pretty good. We have our little carp again, the fishing carp. Oh, we got some shiny boys. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, you know it. Hey, two people watching on Twitch, hello. How's it going? We have Maiden of Produce, and we have a double wear, True Rag here, a Katume Linchu. The effect is, Counterblast 1, choose a face down card with the same name as this unit from your G-Zone. Turn it face up, choose one of your opponent, one of your rear guards with a Red Cadence card name, and put it into your soul. If you have a heart with a Red Cadence card name, your opponent chooses two of his or her rear guards for each face-up card in your G-Zone and retires them. Then if your opponent has no rear guards, you draw a card. It's actually pretty good. You're emptying out your opponent's field while, uh, what do you call it, while replenishing your hand. So that's actually really good. Okay, that goes to the double rares. Next pack. We got a Stealth Rogue of Detonation, Tiryoshi. We have a Drag Wizard in need. I'll actually look at some of those cards and add them to my Luar deck. We have Electro Butcher Dragon. We have Pulse of Tamer Hengeld. We have Bow Sister Ganachi. We have Forward Pressing Gear Tiger. And then we have Sweep Oiner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like such an inappropriate name. Uh, Gethlin, I guess. I'm not sure. Okay, that's it for the left side. Wow, we did not get much for that one, did we? Okay, let's hopefully get better ones on the on the left side. We usually do. Hopefully. Let's clean that up a bit. So you can see my big mess. We have a stealth dragon Hugene. We have a Knight of Prudence Memoried again. We have a Weather Girl Lossy. We have a Steam Gunner Zeusin. I'm guessing that's him. Or Zuxin, or Zuxin, I don't know. Bow Sister Ganachi again. We have a Ram Port, Miko Hazuna. And we got a triple rare Conquering Dragon, Supreme Dragon Draconic Rage, Vanquisher V Buster. Okay. So that is one of the new ones, I believe. That is, uh, let's see. Soul Blast 1, choose a face down card with the same card name as this unit from your Jizo and turn face up. If your opponent chooses one card from for each of from his or her rear guards and drop zone and binds them face up. Oh. Or for each one card each from his or her rear guards and drop okay, rear guards and drop zone binds them face up. If the number of your rear guards is greater than your opponents, choose up to three of your units and they get plus three thousand power. G break three, Thunderstrike seven. All of your front row units get plus five thousand, and this unit gets plus one critical, plus one drive. Oh, nice. 
That's pretty good. Okay, so it's our second triple rare, so that means one more triple rare. Or GR, I'm hoping. And maybe an SP if we're lucky, right? Right, guys? We all want it. Everybody wants an SP. Oh, I see something really shiny here. Let's see. Whistling Arrow Rag here, Kozanju. We got Weather Girl Lassie. We have Little Benefit Dragon. Steam Gunner Zusin again. Lupinus Knight. It's not pretty cool. We have Plea Lightning Helena. And we have a double rare Pulsar Spearhead Unicorn. Wow, it has a lot of red writing. G Break 1. If you have a Vanguard with Chrono Giant's card name, this unit gets plus 2,000 power and auto. When Counter Blast 1, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, you may pay a cost. If you look at the same number of cards from the top of your deck as the number of your Zodiac Time Beast units, call it to 1 Zodiac Time Beast with a different card name as this unit's from among them to Rear Guard and. Put the rest of the uh, the bottom of your deck in any order. Okay, so that's our third triple rare. Or double rare. <laughs> Sorry. Next. We have our Hard Rod Draco Kit again. Good. Oh, something really shiny. Oh, and they reprinted this as a common. That's really good. Oh, wow. That makes this easier to get, too. Wow. And we got the Demonic Dragon Berserker Chatura. Man, those were hard to get like way back when. And now I'm guessing it's way easier. We got Waver and Strike Tim Lars again. We got Pulsar Obstinacy Ox. We have Battle Sister Churros. We have a Double Rare Prosperity Maiden Diane. And we got Triple Rare Supremacy True Dragon Claret Sword and High Hand. Helheim. So that means I don't think we'll be getting a GR. Damn, I was hoping for that one on the front there. I wanted one, I wanted two copies of them, but well. And what do you do? Promise Team Maiden Diane? Let's see. If you have a Vanguard with Rhinoculus in its card name or the Bloom ability, they think it's plus 1,000 power and continues, it gets resist. Good. When your other unit with the same name card name as this unit is placed on rearguard, this unit gets plus 10,000 power until the end of the turn. And at the end of that turn, you may Soul Blast 1 if you do return this card to your hand. Wow, that's actually pretty good. That would definitely go in the new decks. But we still have a chance of getting an SP, so let's hope here. It's hoping, guys. Okay, next we got Blue Espada Dragon. We got Tracking Eradicator, Doku Kaju Kuchi. Oh, fuck, I butchered that badly. I'm sorry. We have Battle Sister Kit, uh, Kitfurl. Kitfree? I don't know. <laughs> oh, cute though. We have a Knight of Deliberation, Mahari again. We got Eradicator Drag Phoenix, Draw Trigger. We have a Battle Sister. Uh, Bomukachin. And wow, we got the reprints of uh, Cherishing Knight Bronwen. So that's pretty good. For the uh, Bestride Fodder. Good. Next pack. Let's see what we have here. We have a Gigantic Shutter. We have a Stealth Dragon, uh, Hujin. We have a Steam Links, Hadin. We have a Mike of the Morning Moon, uh, Haruzuki. That's a long name. We have Hauser Dario. Dario. We have Stealth Beasts, Gakisu Okami. And then we have our double rare circular blade of strong lightning Grizel. Uh, let's see when this unit is attacked and or when it is chosen by the effect of an opponent's card. Your opponent chooses a card from his or her drop zone, and binds it face up. Oh, that's actually pretty good because then you can always guard, and then they still have to put one onto the uh, into their uh, bind zone, and then they attack again with their rear guard, and then you get another one up there. So that's pretty good. Uh, Thunderstrike 5. 
During your turn, this unit gets plus 9,000 power, so it doubles its power. Okay. And act. Okay, plus one. If you have a Vanguard with Vanguard Insurance card name, choose one of your opponent's rearguards. And until the end of the turn, this one's unit attacks Vanguard. It battles the Vanguard and all of the units, all the units on the chosen rearguard. Wow. That's actually really good to have. Hello. How are you? Uh, doing a stream. Are you? Doing a stream. Uh, okay, next one. Are you recording right now? Yes. Okay. Next, we have uh, Pedigree Knights Tegarese. Plasmatron Dragon. Main of Free Rain. Steam Knight Shugi, Shuligil, uh, Drag Wizard Bahad, put this unit into your soul, choose one of your units, and it gets plus 2,000 power. So this is also good for everyone, we'll replace uh, How Owl, if uh, you ever, like, I guess later on if cards ever come up where it requires to have Drag Wizard in its card name so you get those effects off, that's pretty good. I'm probably later expecting that to happen. Uh, we got Sacred Tree Dragon Rainbow Cycle Dragon for a G Guard. And we have Smashing Boxer Dragon. Two more packs left. Come on, SP. I see something shiny there, but I don't think it's SP. Yes, yeah, Fast Speed Stealth Rogue Genzu. We have Swift Owl. Can't see this. Okay, it's basically a reprint, I think. We have Mike of the Daybreak Moon Akizuki again. We have Mutual Love Maiden Balia. If you have another unit with the same card name as this unit, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. And can intercept. Okay. Can it intercept from back row, though? Or does it have to be in front row? Somebody let me down, down in the comments. We have a Rag Hair Sharp Impact Dragon. We have a Stealth Dragon Ungal, and then for Double Rare, we have Stealth Beast Tamahagane Metsu. Okay, that's one of the new ones that uh, people always ran with. Yeah, when, this, when a dominant unit attacks during the, your turn, you may pay the cost. If you do, uh, choose one face down card from your bind zone, and you may put it into your hand. If you do, this unit gets plus 10,000 power. When do you put dot when you put units into your drops into your uh bind zone from binds? Yeah, from your bind zone. Okay. Last pack, come on, SP. What do we get? Okay. We get Stealth Beast Kaze Momo. We have Air Elemental Blue Rune. Wow, that's actually pretty good. It's like, uh, when your opponent shuffles his or deck due to the effect of his or her cards until the end of the turn, this unit gets plus 5,000 power and continuous resist. So that's actually pretty good for... Uh, eventually, I'm thinking that they're going to release enough Cray Elementals to make a Cray Elemental deck, and it's actually going to be pretty cool. And with that one, that one's actually pretty good because uh, if you have, like... So if they do something like... Uh, must three musketeers oh god they're definitely gonna be hit, being hit hard because that thing requires you to shuffle but they also gain power from shuffling so we have flower pot elf we have elite heath we have pulsar thruster bison we have one advantage mike hanasar and we end with a drag wi a drag wiser bernock so yeah we didn't uh and with a SP, we didn't get an SP at all, but I think we got some decent ones here. Let's recap. We got our Chrono... <laughs> we got our uh, Chrono Gear next. Let's see, I'll put it down there for you guys to see. And then... I don't think I read the effect of this one yet. It's like... Uh, uh, Gear Blast uh, Generation Break 2. Why did I say Gear Blast? <laughs> uh, 
Soul uh, Soul Blast one and choose a face on card with the same card name as this unit from your G zone and turn a face up. This unit gets auto. Uh, at the end of the battle that this unit attacked, if your hard card if your hard card is gear is gear dragon reveal up to three zodiac tang beasts in total from in total from rear guard or your hand and put them on the bottom of your deck in any order if you put three cards stand this unit and it gets minus drive two. Continuous uh, generation break four during this unit's second battle it gets plus ten thousand power plus one drive check so that's pretty good. And I've already covered the other two we got uh, Conquering Supreme Dragon Draconic Vanquisher V Buster. And then we have Supremacy True Dragon Claret Sword Helheim. And what does he do again? Choose a face down card with the same card name as this unit from your G zone. And turn a face up when a Sentinel or G Guardian is placed on your opponent's guard. Or when this unit attack hits a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to the same number of uh, say number of grade one or less cards as the number of face up cards in your G zone. Call them separate regular circles. So that actually be pretty good. Um, even if like a like let's say you only have uh, what is it? Say two face up cards or one face up card in your G zone, and then you use him. Let's say they guard with uh, two G guards. That means you can use this effect twice, which is really good. So that's pretty awesome. He's uh, building upon Claire's sword once again. And then for our double rares, we have. Some lightning dancing princess Anastasia. Uh, perfect card. We have another narc. We have a decent amount of narcana for this. <laughs> we have true eradicator a con a item Limchu. We have pulsar spearhead unicorn. We have Prosperity Maiden uh, Diane or Diane. We have Stealth Beast Tamahagane Metsu. And we also have our Circular Blade of Strong Lightning Grizel. Okay. So that's it for the box opening. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want me to open up anything else, I will gladly do so. You just tell me what you want me to open. And I'll also be hopefully doing some gaming later. Uh, I'll get that running and hopefully we'll have some fun. Okay, so thank you for tuning in and we will catch you, we'll catch you all later. Thank you for watching. Ciao,